Let's take a look at race number nine on Saturday at Santa Anita. It is the Grade One Breeders' Cup Classic. It's distance of a mile and a quarter. Purse is six million dollars. Horse I was going to pick to win this race, well, he's been scratched. That's Archangelo, and Archangelo has been retired. Let's take a look at the field. The two horse, Sandin, at 12 to 1, written by Frankie Dottori. You play this horse underneath? Well, he's made you some money, because he always comes in the money. Now, if you pick him to win, well, he's disappointed you more than a few times. Last time, I well, he was able to pick up a win, Grid to Woodward. That was his first win since April 2022. He was even money in that race, so he was expected to win. One by four and a quarter. Put up a nice speed figure. He always shows up. You got to give Zandon that. He's an excellent horse to use in your exotics. And at 12 to 1 with Frankie Dottori, I'm going to use him in my exotics. Take a look at the three horse, White of Barrio at 4 to 1. My biggest knock against this horse is that he just simply couldn't win away from Gulf Street. Then he switched him over to Richard Dutro. Finished third in the Met Mile behind Cody's Wish and Zand, and he was 20 to 1 in that race. The next time out, Sarah Togan, the Grey One Whitney, well, he turned the tables on Zand and Cody's Wish. And he was very impressive, winning by six and a quarter. Switch to Richard Dutro is exactly what this horse needed. I read Ortiz is aboard. You're getting four to one on White of Barrio now. He is coming off a three month layoff. He's been battling with some uh, foot issues. The question is also about these horses. Does he want 10 furlongs? And his trainer, Richard Dutro, last time he's won at Santa Anita, it's 2010. Getting four to one on a three horse, White of Barrio. I will use White of Barrio on my tickets. Take a look at the four at 30 to 1. It's missed the cut. He won the Tokyo City last time out. Santa Anita by five and a half. Very impressive win. Uh, he's taking on different uh, quality of competition in this one. Getting 30 to 1 on the four horse. Miss the cut. Look at the five. It's Derma Sotagake. I remember when he ran in the Kentucky Derby. He didn't break too well in that race. Wound up finishing six. It's actually, it was the last time we saw Derma Sotagake. It was back in May. Coming in off a six-month layoff. Getting 20-1 to 1 on the five horse. Derma Sotagake. Oh, here's your front runner. This is your pace setter. 12 to 1 is the 6 horse, Salty Crown. Five races, he's got three wins in two seconds. Finished second by a nose of a sloppy track in the Jim Dandy. And then last time out, caught a sloppy track again at Parks. And won the Grade 1 Pennsylvania Derby. Trained by Brad Cox. You're getting 12 to 1 on the 6 horse. Saudi Crown. He gets the lead all to himself. And he just might. It could be pretty dangerous. You're getting 12 to 1 on the 6 horse. Saudi Crown. Take a look at the 7 at 20 to 1. It's Clapton. He won last time out in the Lucas Classic. Churchill, he's a closer. He would love a fast pace. He's going to have to step up his speed figures a bit, but his speed figures have been improving his last few races. Getting 21 on the 7 horse, Clapton. Take a look at the 8. The shipper from Japan. It's Ushba Tesoro at 4 to 1. His first 22 races were on turf. 
He only won three times. So they switched him to dirt. And lo and behold, he's not a turf horse. He's a dirt horse. He's won seven of his last eight on dirt, including six in a row. He absolutely loves this distance. It's the Dubai World Cup winner. He was impressive in that one. He went from last to first. Last time out off a layoff in a prep, he won that race easily by two and a half. Now, earlier this week, he's had some gate issues. Uh, put him in the gate at Santa Anita, and he wasn't comfortable at all. He wasn't happy with being inside that gate. But on a Wednesday, they uh, did some gate schooling with him as well, and he was much more relaxed on Wednesday. You're getting 4-1 to one on the 8-horse hoosh, but to Soro, I will use the 8-horse. On my tickets. 30 to 1 is Senior Buscador. Won the San Diego handicap three races back. Finished fourth in the Pacific Classic. And third in the Awesome again. Getting 30 to 1 on this horse. He's put up some pretty decent speed figures. He's interested in that 31. Take a look at the 10 horse. Also at 31 is Dreamlight. Now out of six races, he's only got one win. It's against Maidens, Saratoga. So he's yet to beat winners. His best speed figure was, was over Sloppy Track. The Pennsylvania Derby. Strained by Todd Fletcher. Written by Jose Ortiz. You're getting 30 to 1 on the 10 horse. Dreamlike. Also trained by Todd Fletcher. It's 11. Bright Future. He's got back to back wins, including a grade 1 win. Won by a nose. Saratoga. Over Proxy. He's got a good record on seven races. He's got four wins. Put up a nice speed figure last time out, too. Hitting 10 to 1 on 11 horse. Bright future. Take a look at the 12. It's Arabian Night. It should be forward. He's not going to let the Saudi crown get too far away. Written by Flavin Pratt. He's trained by Bob Baffert. Bob Baffert has won the classic. Four times in the last nine years, and all of his winners were three year olds. The winner of the Grade One Pacific Classic last time out, but he's going to have to do something that uh, he hasn't done. All of his wins have come gate to wire. He's not expected to get the lead in this one. Spent $2.3 million. Zaydan Racing Staples. They spent a lot of money on, on horses. In 3 to 1 on the 12 horse Arabian Night. I'll use the 12 on my tickets. And to close out the field. At 12 to 1, it's the 13 proxy. Had a couple nice wins this year. Great to Oakland. Mama Cup. Last time out, he just lost by a nose. Joel Rosario's aboard, owned by Godolphin. It's interesting at 12 to 1. These are the horses I'm going to use on my tickets. I'm using Ushba Tesoro, Arabian Knight, White Barrio, and the always consistent Zandon. Also, I'm going to pick to win. Let's see if he can get his seventh win in a row. I'm going with eight horse, Ushba to Soro. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in this race. I have other races coming your way, so stay tuned for that. Good luck.